Hey guys, this is Lane, the project guy. We've got a project this morning that you're going to really love if you're into video games, computers, and uh, pinball machines from the 1980s and 1990s. If you're into those things and you're restoring them or repairing them, you realize that they use EEPROMs, which is an erasable memory chip, but it's only erasable if you supply it with UV a light of a certain wavelength. So there's a little glass window on these chips. You pull a sticker off, you expose that window, you place the chip under a UV light and it erases the memory. You can view that memory by using your EEPROM programming device, which will show you what's contained within the chip. And if there, there'll be all kind of digits and alphanumeric characters uh, contained within that chip as it's programmed. And if those are erased, they're replaced with FF, a, a, a blank data block. Well, I bought myself an EEPROM eraser off Amazon about four years ago. It's like a $25 device, and it's just as cheap as a $25 device. It, it's, it's made as cheap as they possibly could. When I first got it, I could erase a chip in about five to 10 minutes, and that was satisfactory. Over the life of this device, it's taken longer and longer and longer to erase the chips until I got to the point in the last few days where I just can't even get it to, to erase the chip. After hours of exposure to the light, the chip still has data on it. So last night I decided I was gonna take this apart and figure out what's going on inside of this box. What's it look like? Is there anything I can improve or find? And I'm gonna show you what I did. I think it'll help you out if you're using these EEPROM erasers. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take this thing apart. Like any good entrepreneur, mechanic, curious person, we got to know what's going on in here. And there's four little screws here in the bottom that allow you to separate the case. They're on mine, they're flathead screws. It probably varies according to the manufacturer. There they are. And then, as you can see, what we've got in here is this little UV bulb with a ballast and a cheap timer, which doesn't work on mine. Here's what I did. I noticed that all the nice commercial versions of these UV erasers, first of all, had a much bigger bulb, probably four times this size. Secondly, they had a reflector over the bulb that captured the energy that was aimed away from your chip and reflected it back down on the chip so that you weren't wasting UV energy uh, getting absorbed into the, the case. So what I did was took some double-sided foam tape and put right here, and I put some household tinfoil, Reynolds Wrap tinfoil right there, and it created my own little reflector. And that's all it took. That was a five-minute modification. And of my four chips, I was not able to program them prior to this or erase them prior to this and they started erasing once I did this. I'm still not getting as quick of erasure time as I was when this was new, but it's back to erasing chips. So I know this was effective and I wish I'd done this when this was brand new and I would have probably, you know, cut my erasing time by down to 25% of what, what it was, was called, taking me. So guys, I'd recommend you do this. This is a, a one cent modification. It costs you nothing and it greatly improves the efficiency of this machine. Well guys, I hope you found this video useful. If so, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Lane the Project Guy. Good luck and enjoy your arcade projects.